going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is for entertainment purposes only. And uh, first off, I just wanted to say to Retina1974, thank you for your comment. I really, really appreciate it, man. You know, I'd love to get some more conversation going with other, you know, other traders. Real people. Real traders. Real, like, working class people. You know what I mean? Because I see a lot of... Uh, like forex trading uh, channels and they don't show you their account they don't show you their trades they don't show you anything which drives me nuts like I don't care I know some of them are just trying to teach you whatever but it's like just show me what you're trading <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what you did yesterday I want to see what you're doing now that's what I want to see and I think the uh, you know the the strategy is kind of like a, an ever-evolving thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think I have a strategy right now, but I probably do. I just, I don't know. It's just an ever-evolving little thing. And I definitely see what you're saying, and I'm glad, I'm, I thank you for your your two cents on what you, you're doing. Like, and I probably should do more of that now that you say it. I probably really should. <laughs> stick with the trend stick with the trend and uh, yeah I see what you're saying though just go by the the 200 EMA you know verify what the trend is then jump down to four hour look for a retracement and go for further up or downside depending on the on the trend and uh, yeah I see that but I'm just trying to uh, you know fully I want to give my my mentors thing a chance because it's it's the things he said like he, he's like yeah I, I did this I did this for 15 years uh, you know I jump from system to system I would go to this oh that's not working I'd go to this I'd try to this indicator I'd try that and he was all over the place and he was like it wasn't until I stopped and locked down to one thing focus on one thing and trade the same thing over and over and over and over again and then it's up to probabilities from there and accordingly I mean uh, he said that uh, 2021 to 2022 was his best year ever like to date like his the, the strategy is just working very well and he, he's just a pure price action trader basically just looks for significant levels of support and resistance and yeah that he, he's looking for significant levels and, and he's looking for sw swing break rotations or bullish rotations or whatever a sign and then wait for the retracement and go for further up or downside so you know I'm gonna keep doing it for a little while and see see what happens but maybe I should mix in a few uh, which I just did, actually. I did. With the trend. Right? USD Mexican peso. The trend has been down. Overall. I mean, it was up for a little bit here, but it's... Yeah, it's it's down. At least weekly-wise, it's down. Monthly-wise, it's down. Right, and every time this thing makes a, a high, a swing high, and I'm like, oh, I should short that. I should short that, and I don't. And it just goes all the way back down, and I keep kicking myself in the ass for it. But, and yeah, I, I did see the, the swing break. Like, well, shouldn't you be... Well, I don't know, because... You see, we had this high, then this high, and then we had a you know, big rotation up here, and then it just kind of came back down now we had another big rotation there and then it came back down and now we have another big rotation and you know the that weekly candle the last weekly candle that closed we got a big wick a big wick here so yeah look it started looking bearish so today I saw that we we breached this guy so I waited for the retracement back up into that level. There was my order further downside. And I put a trailing stop up here. 
So this this stop is just gonna follow this thing down until I get stopped out. I want to try that. I want to try a trailing stop, and this is another thing I don't really. I'm not sure. You know what what is the appropriate pip amount? I guess it would depend on pair and volatility and all of that. But I'm just gonna go with this high and just let it let it let it do its thing. And it would be nice to have you know some people you know a, a little community because uh I, I feel like i get stuck on some pairs sometimes i get really stuck and zoned in on on certain things and then i don't i don't look across the board and 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 look at things so obviously aussie new zealand i missed a 382 pin bar on the weekly and yeah that that was a, definitely a huge missed opportunity big and then i just noticed this today cats was frank 382 pin bar on the monthly on the monthly and i missed it like every time i see a 382 pin bar on the monthly or weekly i want to trade it so it would be nice if any of you guys see a 382 pin bar on the monthly or weekly just let me know if i don't see it because obviously these things produce these 382 pin bars, man. I mean, every time I see one on the monthly or weekly, it seems like it pays. It pays. I just can't seem to... Uh... <laughs> My timing's a bit off. But yeah, anyways, uh, EuroUSD. So EuroCAD and EuroUSD. So first off, EuroCAD. I set a trailing stop. And uh, price took me out right here. Took me out. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about getting back in. And yeah, I am going against the trend here. The trend has been down. But here's my reasoning. You know, look, look at this monthly level here. Support, resistance. Wick rejections, wick rejections, support, support. Big, big level here. Really big level. And if we go, oops. If we kind of zoom in on the monthly chart, it looks like, it looks like it's starting to roll. I mean, it had plenty of opportunities, but we got a triple bottom. A triple bottom and we got a huge I mean freaking huge candle action man on the daily and check this out this is kind of interesting actually this is kind of why I like Luxie to get a little al algorithms point of view here and there you know what I mean because you can see the first little we had a swing break here by a little bit but Luxy still considered this in a downtrend. Candles were still red. Pushed down, came back up. Another big. I mean, this was a this was a rotation here, or a swing break, right? Candle just turned purple, which means ranging, and it came back down, and then it came back up a third time, and we got a big green candle with a strong buy signal, and this is on the daily. This is on the daily which takes a lot more to throw a signal. And I have my, I have the algorithm set for, uh, long, I think it's like mid to long-term trading and confirmation. So it waits for some sort of confirmation before it throws that signal. There's another one called contrarian or something, and it will throw more signals for you, but I don't, I don't really want more signals. I want like, I want the best signal I can get, so. But regardless, we're throwing a strong buy. That is a big, I mean, see all the candles back here? When we were going up, they weren't that big. Like that's a big one. So it just seems like either one big institution got in or or a bunch of small ones, I don't know, but that that's a bunch of movement there. After a triple bottom, this just seems like it's gonna go up. So I actually went down to the, 
yeah, four hour, I think. Yeah. You see this? So this little thing shows, uh, you know, this is like uh, order flow, kind of. It shows selling, selling pressure here. This is a bu like a bunch of sell orders, and then you have buying orders here, and you can see these spikes. And it actually threw down a dotted line here. So I'm like, I wonder. See, I was gonna go with this level here, which is the big monthly level. I'm thinking possibly price will uh, retrace back down to this this big big level here, which would probably be closer to the 0 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level for further upside. And you can see there is another big spike of orders. So I, I don't know this right where we're at is the 382 right now. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I'll just go with this dotted line, just just for shits. I, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Luxy uh, earn its keep, right? So that's that's kind of what I'm going with. Uh, that's what I'm gonna go with. That level right there, which is the top of this. Yeah, we got wick rejections, wick rejections. It is a level. It was support, resistance. It's definitely a level, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Twenty thousand units. Stop loss below this low. Aiming to the upside, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, MACD's rolling down, of course. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. Euro USD. I did pretty good. With, with Euro this week. So let's go to one hour. So I was in from here. Price ripped up. And I noticed yesterday, I noticed some wicks, which is a little bit concerning to me. You know, we were getting wicks already. Like, oh man. It's got to retrace to find more buyers. And before I took profit, because I was up like 160 bucks there, you know, I just wanted to see what I saw. And I saw this, 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 and this. Set up for a head and shoulders pattern. I'm like, huh, I wonder. So I took profit right there, 160 bucks. And I set another order right there. For further upside, price came down, hit my order, and boom. Yes. Took profit right there this morning. And, uh, yeah, I obviously didn't think my re-entry over too well because it just started to roll here. And I'm like, ah, okay, that's good enough. And I threw it back in and it dropped. But... As of right now, we're still kind of following this this channel up, so I don't know. You know, I still think we're, oops, I still think that we need to come up and at least, at least test this level here. We haven't touched it yet. We have not touched it yet. So I think at the very least, we will get another move up to test this level, and then we'll see what happens from there. Do we break, retest, go higher? Or does it get rejected there and then break this channel up to the downside? Could be a possibility. But uh, for now, I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to leave it alone. I got my stop loss below this low. If it's going to come down and start taking out lows, then yeah, I'll be out. But yeah, I'm going to just, I'm going to leave it. And I actually had my account back at all time highs today. Had. But uh, the YouTube video kind of screwed me up. So 3,500 is all-time highs. I'm sitting at $3,439 right now. And where I screwed up was um, GBP Swiss franc. So today, I saw that we had this, this push up, which this high took out that high. We have a rotation. And I noticed price was heading down, so I went with 
this big level back here. I'm like, well, I wonder. So I set an order there. It got filled today at some point and pushed up. And I was up like 80 bucks. And I was about to take profit because I'm a little unsure of this. I don't know. My gut's kind of telling me that I should be buying this. Because... You know, overall, we're following this, this channel down back here. We're following this channel down pattern. And usually, these break to the upside, eventually. So, we, we're at the bottom of the channel right now. Like, shouldn't I be buying? I, I don't know. It seems like it. I might be kicking myself in the ass later when I when this thing rips and I'm not in it. But yeah, I I was making the video and the spread went started going crazy. And this candle, you can see it pushed all the way down. And I was like a dollar and five in profit. I took it and it got out. I was like, yeah, screw it. And then it pushed right back up. I'm like, crap. What a newbie. Freaking that's such a noob maneuver right there. I should not have done that. Oh well. It is what it is. So, I think, um, yeah, other than that, I think for now, I'm just going to let these things kind of play out. I, I don't know that I want to put too much out there. Like, NZD CAD, I mean... Let's go back to the daily. Come on, Luxie. Yeah, see, this doll is not looking great. This isn't looking as good as the, the Eurocad. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for this one. See you later. Thanks for the comments. See you in the next one. Let's make some money. So this old bird wants to take our rights away. And just took a steaming dump on my desk. But we won't stand for it, will we, Nancy? No, no, no. Bad Nancy. <laughs>